Hey guys, so I've been pretty silent lately, um, and I'm super sorry about that. I know that right now I only have like 30 something followers, but I'm still sorry about that. I didn't want to fall behind like I have, but I decided to take a break from YouTube just because I had a lot on my plate. Um, I started having uh, increased health problems. I had to go and get what's called a tilt table test, uh, go to a cardiologist and everything, and um, you know, basically I've just had a lot of problems with really low blood pressure. So standing up and changing position suddenly makes me feel really lightheaded. Obviously not ideal when you're dancing. Um, I was also finishing up a summer class in engineering, so that was my final class for my undergraduate degree. So while I was, when I went silent, I was finishing up doing that class and graduating and applying and getting everything settled for grad school. Then I left for grad school, I moved states. Um, so everything I own got packed up and I did not have any space. Everything was in a box all over my room. And so I packed that all up, packed up my whole life, um, and put it in a U-Haul truck and moved to Texas. And then because of COVID, uh, my apartment situation was kind of scrambled. The apartments weren't ready to host students for the new year because the lease hadn't expired for the past year yet and you know my grad school pushed up the start date so everyone was looking to start their lease sooner and the apartments just couldn't handle the capacity so which is to no fault of their own and no fault of the university like no one could have expected this year so but it definitely presented its own unique challenges uh, and so I moved everything into this really small shared temporary room and I've lived there for like a week. I spent about three days alone in this room and then I got a temporary roommate who I had never met before and I knew nothing about for another three days. And then classes started and then for grad school, which is a whole other level of complexity. And then I um, I moved. I, I had to move this time by myself. I had my family help me when I moved into the temporary apartment, but I had to move pretty much everything by myself between the temporary and the permanent apartment. Now my permanent apartment is a studio apartment, so I live here alone, which has advantages and disadvantages. Obviously an advantage is, you know, I get my own space, I get, you know, my own dance space, which is awesome. I, you know, I don't have to worry about coming home and, you know, having to be social or, or, you know, if I cook something, will the room smell bad, you know, and then my roommates will get mad at me or whatever. Um, I don't have to worry about any of that, but it definitely is really, really lonely, especially, you know, when you're already isolating due to COVID, it definitely can take a toll in mental health wise. Um, so I'm having to cope with that as well as moving mental health wise and all of that. Um, and then less than a day after I moved all of my stuff into the room that I'm going to stay in for this year, um, Hurricane Laura decided to start heading and I had to evacuate. There was a mandatory evacuation order where I was and I didn't know anyone, so I had to just leave all my stuff here, pack an overnight bag, and go stay with like a family friend that I've never met for like a week. Um, and that was, I mean, I'm so, so grateful to her. Like that was amazing of her to open up her home, especially considering she's never met me. Um, but it was definitely like a whole nother stressful thing. And then I came back here and at this point I'm like two weeks in to grad school and I still had boxes all over my apartment and I still hadn't unpacked and you know I couldn't walk in a straight line through my apartment because there was just so much stuff 
Um, and I'm still not even fully unpacked. I've been unpacking now for another couple days. And I still, you know, I, you know, will run out of hangers or run out of places to put something. It just takes a while. Um, so I do have an area picked out for where I want to dance in, in the future. I'm hoping to start that again. If not this week, maybe next week. I really miss it. I think that it really is good for my mental health and I really enjoy doing it. And it's really been hard not doing it these past is it over a month now. So yeah, I really appreciate it. if you've stuck with my channel, thank you. If you are watching this and you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. If you have any tips for coping with isolation and going to grad school during a pandemic or any of these things, you know, it's new territory for all of us. Feel free to comment down below. Um, reach out to me, follow me on my Instagram, which will be linked in the description. Follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description and um, stick with me. I'll start producing content again soon, I promise. Just need to get my life a little bit more in order. I just, I wanted to make this video as sort of an explanation, sort of to go through what all has been going on, you know, give my excuses for why I haven't been posting. I haven't given up, I'm not gonna disappear for like a year again like I used to, cross my heart. I'm gonna get back into it. I just needed a break.